केला सर सो वी विल डिस्कस द हिप जॉइंट टुडे एंड एज ऑल द अदर जॉइंट्स इन द बॉडी वी हैव टू डिस्कस अंडर फ्यू पॉइंट्स टुडे वी डिस्कस ओनली दीस फोर पॉइंट्स इन द हिप जॉइंट इंट्रोडक्शन क्लासिफिकेशन आर्टिकुलर सरफेस ऑफ बोन्स टेकिंग पार्ट्स एंड लिगामेंट ओके now hip joint is the strongest joint of the lower limb it's very stable as compared to the shoulder joint of the upper limb okay you have to compare hip joint with the shoulder joint because both of them are ball and socket joint but shoulder joint is very weak as compared to the hip joint okay now what are the bones that take part in the formation of the hip joint is the acetabulum this is the acetabulum of the hip bone this is going to articulate with the head of the femur and both of them will join together to form the hip joint okay Now, if you can see here, the factors which are going to contribute to the stability of the hip joint are first is the depth of the acetabulum. The acetabulum is quite deep as compared to the glenoid cavity, which was very shallow. The head of the femur also is very uh, bigger, circular, and it fits properly into the acetabulum. Okay, so this is the first very important point which is going to make the hip joint stable. The second point is that the ligaments which are there surrounding the hip joint are very strong. as compared to the ligaments of the shoulder joint and the strength of the muscles which are there uh, around the hip joint are also very strong as compared to the muscles of the shoulder joint so hip joint is much stable as compared to the shoulder joint both being ball and socket type of joint okay so that is the thing now we we'll talk about important ligaments which are there of the hip joint now if you talk about the ligaments here you have the first ligament for any synovial joint is going to be the joint capsule then you have to easy to pay to remember the ligaments are with the three parts of the hip bone are ilium ischium and pubis so there are three ligaments which are going to connect the ilium to the femur which is called ilio femoral ligament pubis to the femur which is called pubo femoral ligament and ischio femoral ligament three ligaments plus capsule then you have one ligament which is here which is attached to the head of the femur which is called ligament of the head of the femur then you have transverse acetabular ligament <coughs> so these are the ligaments of the hip joint so list of the ligaments of the hip joint are capsular ligament ilio femoral ligament pubo femoral ligament ischio femoral ligament ligament of the head of the femur and transverse acetabular ligament okay now we we'll talk first about the capsular ligament now the capsular ligament is surrounding it surrounds the acetabulum here the attachment of the hip joint hip uh, bone will be it will surround the acetabulum and it is also going to cover the transverse acetabular ligament here okay so this is the attachment of the capsule on the hip bone to the femur the capsule is attached here meaning the anterior attachment will be here it is going to come and attach to the intertrochanteric line anteriorly and posteriorly it is very important to understand that it comes 1 cm in front of intertrochanteric crest so femoral attachment to the capsule anteriorly it is going to cover or it will be attached to the intertrochanteric line and posteriorly it is going to be 1 cm in front of intertrochanteric crest <coughs> what happens because of this is that the anterior surface of the neck is completely covered by the capsule but some part of the posterior surface of the neck lies outside the capsule because the capsular attachment here is about 1 cm in front of the intertrochanteric crest now there are some fibers <coughs> which are going to make the capsule strong they are called zona orbicularis which are going to be attached or the fibers which are there in the capsule which will make the capsule very strong because hip joint requires a lot of stability so that is the capsular ligament so uh, attachment to the hip bone will be around the margin of the acetabulum to the femur it will be attached anteriorly to the intertrochanteric line and posteriorly it will be attached in front of the intertrochanteric crest okay so that is capsule the next very important ligament which is the strongest ligament of the body is ilio femoral ligament it is one of the strongest ligament of the body now this ligament is also called as ligament of bigelow okay now ilio femoral ligament it will be attached to the ilium and to the femur now where it is attached to the ilium at first before it's important we should understand that ilio femoral ligament is a inverted y shaped ligament it is inverted y shaped ligament this stem of the y okay the stem of the y is attached here this is the anterior inferior iliac spine the stem of the y is attached to the anterior inferior iliac spine and then it is going to fan out and it will be at the the two limbs of the y meaning the upper limb and the lower limb of the y these are attached to the upper and the lower parts of intertrochanteric line okay so here will be the upper limb of the y here will be the lower limb of the y 
so it will start from intertrochanteric uh, sorry from the anterior inferior iliac spine and then it is going to go here it will go to the upper part of it, uh, intertrochanteric line and lower part of intertrochanteric line so that is iliofemoral ligament very very important ligament it is also the strongest ligament of the body the most important function of this iliofemoral ligament is to prevent the trunk from falling backwards also it prevents the trunk from falling backwards it is going to anchor the hip bone upon the femur okay ligament of great strength and strongest ligament of the body okay peculiarity is kayak it is inverted y shape stem of the y attached to the anterior inferior iliac spine and the two limbs of the y go to the upper and the lower part of intertrochanteric line that is iliac femoral ligament the next ligament is pubo femoral ligament now this ligament is not as strong as the iliac femoral ligament here it will come from the pubis anterior surface of the body of the pubis and it merges here with the inferior part of inferior band of iliac femoral ligament so it will start from the pubis and it will end here it is anterior inferior it is going to support the hip joint from the anterior side okay so it will start from the pubis and it will end here at the lower part where the lower band of the iliac femoral ligament meets okay so that is pubo femoral ligament the third ligament is ischio femoral ligament if you read the attachment of the ischio femoral ligament it is given that it starts from the ischio and goes to the acetabulum it is not attached to the femur but still it is called ischio femoral ligament it's a weak ligament which supports the joint posterior inferior layer it is here assessed and it is going to protect prevent start from the ischio body of the ischio and it is going to go towards the acetabulum that is ischio femoral ligament peculiarity what you should remember is that there is no femoral attachment to the ischio femoral ligament okay त्याच्यानंतर द नेक्स्ट लिगामेंट इज दिस ट्रान्सवर्स एस्टॅबुलर लिगामेंट ॲज वी हॅड सीन इन द ह्युमरस वी हॅव ग्रेटर ट्युबर्कल अँड लेसर ट्युबर्कल वेअर दर इज अ ब्रिज दॅट इज कॉल्ड एज इंटर ट्युबर्क्युलर सल्कस हिअर द एसिडॅबुलम इज नॉट अ कम्प्लीट सर्कल देर इज अ नॉच हिअर विच इज कॉल्ड एज एसिडॅबुलर नॉच दिस नॉच इज ब्रिज बाय द लिगामेंट विच इज कॉल्ड ट्रान्सवर्स एसिडॅबुलर लिगामेंट ओके सो ट्रान्सवर्स एसिडॅबुलर लिगामेंट इज गोन टू ब्रिज द नॉच एसिडॅबुलर नॉच अँड इट विल बी अटॅच हिअर and the last ligament which is very important again is here which is attached to the head of the femur uh, to the notch here at the head of the femur what is this notch called this is called as fovea capitis so from the fovea capitis to the inside of the acetabulum there is a ligament which is attached here which is called as ligament of the head of the femur there are three other names it is also called as ligament of teres or ligament of femoris okay so the all round ligament okay so this ligament here the importance of this ligament is that there are arteries epiphyseal arteries which are going to travel through this ligament and they are going to supply blood to the head of the femur these arteries are also going to travel through the neck of the femur so these are about the ligaments of the hip joint okay in the next lecture we